What's up guys, I'm Ryan Finners and welcome back to the Finnertainment channel. On today's video, we're gonna try to stop all the squeaks that these extended tops make. Majority of the time, this, I believe is due to the metal on metal contact of all these aftermarket tops, unlike the factory top where it's all plastic on metal, so you have that insulator uh, bond in between it. So we're gonna try to fix it. This is what it sounds like right now. And that gets on my nerves probably the most, more than anything else. That and when we fixed the string uh, play, that got on my nerves as well. But this squeaking, we got to have it fixed, man. So in today's video, we're going to try to fix that. Stay tuned. So I got this rubber sheet here. It's, uh, it's an eighth inch thick. It's 12 inches by 12 inches. I got it off of Amazon and uh, I'll link it down below as well. What we're going to try to do is use this sheet here to isolate all of that noise. I think it was relatively cheap as well. So there's that. I got these, uh, not really sure what you would call these. It's like a scissor. It's like a almost like a sheet metal scissor or something. It was my grandfather's and uh, he'd had it long before he'd passed. And well, when I inherited my grandfather's stuff, I didn't inherit um, goods, I inherited tools. And uh, so I always loved working with his old tools, but not sure where you can pick these up at. It says Wiss Inlaid, not sure what that is. Might be a China brand, not sure, but anyways, so on the back of the president here on this metal plate here, in order to remove these four uh, nuts, it's gonna be a 9 16 deep wall socket. We're gonna try to use these and cut out some spots on these right here, mounts like so, and place them between here and the metal. And I'm probably do one as well between the aluminum rail and, um, the uprights themselves as well. So let's just get started and see what we can come up with. So I got one to cut out. Cut's real easy, man. That's, I love these things, I, I really do. Anyways, we're gonna try to cut these out. We're gonna try to cut uh, the side pieces, go in the back out and drill these holes out and put them in and uh, work our way on the front next. So the, the top, basically, uh, it, it gets pushed to the inside down like so so i'm gonna say seven and a half maybe eight just to do that and let's put about a one inch down so about one inch by uh one by eight and we're gonna cut that out for both sides as well so just shy of eight at seven and three quarters I'm gonna just run with that because the first measurement I took was like seven and a half. So I think I'm gonna just run seven and three quarters since that's what this upper measurement here is. I'll just measure down one inch, cut, one inch, cut, and go to town. So uh, I just took this bracket and drilled some holes in. And as you can see, the bottom holes are a different size than the top holes here because these are a different size than these. I wanna say that's a five sixteenths inch hole and that might have been a 3 8 um don't quote me that but I, but I believe it is being a 9 16 but anyway don't quote me to that um so yeah i'm gonna go ahead reinstall this side here and the other side as well and i'll pick you back up once they are installed Y'all hear that? A beautiful night. 
All right, this is the rear passenger side here. Was able to put the rubber between the lower mount and the top rails. Also, we put a piece of rubber between the aluminum and the candy cane on both sides. So that one's done also in the rear. Next, we need to get started on the front. So this is the front left. I have a flat bar running across the golf cart using my G2 bazooka tube. Next, we're gonna go ahead and get us a piece of rubber to fit between there. And if you notice, the flat bar is going between the front one. So this bracket's kind of angled, but I'm just gonna make one to go between the front and the back of that bracket there. As you can see, this right here is the rubber that is going to support my bazooka G2 sound bar. And this is the supports for the roof itself. All right, so we've pretty much done. It's been thundering here. It was raining earlier, uh, pop, lightning popping, thundering, all of that. Uh, it's pretty much stopped. I'm impatient. I can't wait till tomorrow morning. I got to take it out now and see if this right here cured the problem. Let's go. All right, so we're on the golf cart and I uh, just pulled it out. And uh, I'm anxious to see if this right here is going to work or not. So far, so good. I'm sorry for the camera. I uh, don't have no light on it. And uh, we will be working on an interior light on the golf cart very soon, probably next. Not gonna lie, I love that already. We went, a, we went around a corner, hit some bumps. Here's gonna tell us right now or not. That's us boys. This right here is in full force and it's ready to go. 